Hi there, Nathan Patrick Taylor back at you again. So this video is the first in a new series that I want to run called Quick Hits. And uh, the point of it is just to really dive into something very shallow, not, uh, not very deep at all. Some of the other videos that I have are, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes long. So this is intended just to be a, a quick hint tip type video. And uh, the first in the series is talking about data types and why they matter. And uh, this came about because of an issue that I ran into with the Power BI service uh, two or three weeks ago, I guess, where, where this became a problem. So I'm going to walk through it now. And uh, what, to do that, I'm just going to use my AdventureWorks report here. And I'm going to duplicate one of the tabs. And I'm going to go over to Edit Queries. And within Edit Queries, what I want to do is create a function based on uh, a date. And so we're going to add a new column, a custom column. Um, we're going to give this custom column a name. We'll call it uh, orders in last uh, seven years. That's what we'll call it. And the function is going to be very similar. It's going to be, um, I think it's called uh, is in previous. And we'll do uh, n years. And when I open the parenthesis here, one thing I want to note is that this function will return false when passed a value that occurs uh, within the current year. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the order date from this data set and we'll say uh, 7 as the n and uh, this is just going to return true or false. So we'll click OK and you'll see false true over here. Now I'm just going to move this over to where the order date is so it gets a little bit closer and we can see uh, what's going on here. So there's false. Now if I, I sort this uh, descending, you'll see it's true. I'm going to remove the sort and just put it back the way that it was just to show the, the true and false portion of it. Now, what's interesting about this is that Power BI did not assign the correct data type to it. It's still A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. And if we go back and we hit close and apply, and then take that uh, order type that's going to show up as a field, so uh, order um, over here should be, uh, let's see, order in last seven years. So we'll drop it onto the report into the table visual and you'll see it's a one or a zero. Now, I know that behind the scenes in some databases, uh, true or false is really just a bit. It's it's a one or a zero. It's, it's on or off. Uh, and that appears to be what's sort of happening here is that Power BI is interpreting that true or false or as a one or a zero. And we could we could duplicate one of the filters that we have on the report and then take uh, order in last seven years and drop that in and sort of prove that that's, that's true, that's what's going on. Now here's the weird thing. <clears throat> Since this is true or false, if Power BI service doesn't recognize the one or the zero correctly, it could cause blank reports. Down the line, if we're using data from this Power BI report in another application, maybe in Power Apps or maybe in Flow or in something else, uh, it could cause a problem being a one or a zero rather than a true or false, if that's what we're really expecting. Uh, plus, it's just bad practice that that's what the formula is returning and we're not changing it to the correct data type. So uh, what I'm recommending and, and what I think others would recommend is to go in and change this column's data type instead of to any to change it to true or false because that's really what it what it's returning click close and apply and then when we go back to the report and it loads with uh, updated information here we'll see that true or false is what shows up in here now and that's what was being generated by the formula again this caused a problem for me in the Power BI service but um, it, it sometimes recognizes, sometimes didn't. It was really bizarre. So I think doing it the right way, of course, is the best way. And uh, that's the quick hit tip and quick hit that I wanted to share with you. Thanks. Bye-bye.